Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, last time I tried to record myself upgrading my um, uh, uh, laptop, upgrading the processor. But in the middle of um, reassembling my yeah. laptop after installing the processor, unfortunately, my phone died. And I didn't realize until I finished assembling the entire laptop. So here it is right now. As you can see, this is still the Asus K43SJ. Um, on screen, I'm showing you the benchmarks I took um, uh, using NovaBench. As you can see, it has a score of 557 the processor is an Intel Core i3 as you can see right there uh, this is the uh, specs as it came out of the store 4 gigs of RAM first um, performance upgrade I did was to upgrade the RAM to 8 gigabytes um, according to the product specs this is the maximum I can go with in terms of the RAM if anyone has gone any higher than 8 gigs and it worked, please tell me. Maybe it's not the end of the performance upgrade. Maybe I can go as high as 16 or even maybe 32. But I think 32 is overkill. 16 is probably okay for this one. But 8 gigs is plenty enough for what I use this thing for. So there, it has a higher score of 608. Um, Obviously, the system RAM is higher, although the CPU score this time is lower by 10 points, I don't know why, and the graphics is higher by 6 points. Anyway, the last performance upgrade I did was to change the processor. As you can see, it's now an Intel Core i7 which according to the product specs is the maximum that the processor could go that the laptop supports at least so the score is now 918 points now I'm not sure exactly um, how the point system works but or how much one point higher is um, the impact of one point higher is to the performance of the system but generally speaking the higher the score, the better the system performance. So, um, I'm running CPU Z right now. So, I'm going to show you. So, there it is the Intel Core i7 uh, 2630 QM. It's perfectly supported by my laptop. Um, it's a. Uh, few watts higher in terms of power consumption than the i3 um, I do feel the keyboard or the laptop warmer especially in this part this is where the fan exhausts the heat from the processor the GPU that's my daughter so anyways I, the upgrade worked um, I think that's about as high as I can go in terms of performance upgrades. The next thing I will do is to replace my optical drive with a secondary hard drive caddy that could accommodate another hard drive for my storage because uh, I don't use the optical drive anymore. Um, and I do have a spare hard drive um, to put in the system um, I don't think my laptop supports hot hot swap uh, I don't need it anyways because I don't have that many hard drives to swap anyways so uh, on the next video I'll be showing you how I replace this one hopefully I bought the right caddy size apparently i only found out today that there are two types a 9.5 millimeter and a 12.7 millimeter uh drive caddy i got the 12.7 and i'm hoping 
that it'll fit. So I'll be right. I uh, will be um, showing you that in the next video. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Say bye. Come on.